the session in the ordinary course normally we have a around 1 hour we have made it a short and crisp and we have taken few questions which normally comes in the mind of a person as to how the wealth could be done and what are the investment options and how to invest what is the ideal age etc taking into consideration all these aspects we requested mr bharat chandra who is otherwise having the qualification from the as a doctor but his passion to learn the investments as well as thereafter to share with the common man so that they could also be enriched speaks volume that his own uh, youtube channel is doing tremendously well and the person who got us connected we see him also logged in mr prashant chohan who is from our same profession he has created his niche on the mediation therefore both the brothers have a diverse thought process same way their portfolios of money investment is also different and diverse from what ordinarily a professional thinks without taking much time uh, i would request mr bharat to introduce and thereafter we will take some questions and he has agreed to share with us certain slides thereafter we will also share it on the whatsapp group of beyond law clc which we normally ask people to connect with us on the whatsapp so that any notes etc which are shared by the speaker they can have the knowledge of the same from that coupled with they can also share like and subscribe the beyond law clc youtube linkedin and facebook page for updates or do you dr bharat chandra thank you vikas ji speaking from a long distance in chandigarh i hope you are able to listen to what i am speaking and uh, ladies and gentlemen to introduce myself i am dr bharat chandra medical doctor behavioral therapist and by hobby i mean i am a trainer and specially training people into better investments as mr vikas ji just now told today's topic will be creating wealth for professional so when i say wealth people should, people should understand it is not uh, 5000 10000 1 lakh you make in a month i am talking about crores and crores of money that you are going to keep it aside as probably a retirement corpus or could be for the children education and children marriage or post retirement a house now i am going to request my friend vikas ji to uh, ask his questions so that yeah. i can appropriately answer those questions to the satisfaction of the professionals who are present today like we said that we have taken 10 broad questions which normally comes in the mind of any professional and so we have framed these questions we have also shared it on our social media the questions would be uh, mr bharat uh, what are the investment options available for the professionals the i am going to explain everything by slide so that everybody will be very very happy to note down if they want to the investment options are the first one i am going to go along with the uh, along with the the returns that is available first one is everybody knows bank deposits fixed deposits and uh, uh, public provident fund post office deposits then comes the most favorite gold then real estate everybody knows how to invest and how to make money then comes the mutual funds and finally the stock markets to explain further the bank fds give approximately 5 to 6% of returns per annum ppf uh, is a government uh, instru in instrument gives around 7.1% per annum gold average everybody thinks gold is a thing that we have to use for our uh, you know apad bandhav it can be used at the last resort as a very good investment and i am i am going to give you a bad news the gold investment on a long run gives only 4 to 5% per annum it looks as though it is appreciating but at the same time the other day it went up to 55000 for 10 grams and has come down to 45000 rupees and then real estate conventionally gives about 9 to 10% per annum 
for a long run, but the sad news is very poor liquidity. Mutual funds, depending on which mutual fund you choose, there are many varieties, 10 to 14% over long time, and stock markets, surprisingly, can give you anywhere from 15 to 25% per annum over a long term. So this is what happens with the investment options the professionals have in front of them. And let me explain one more important thing. So now look at this. Long-term inflation in India is around 5 to 7% per annum currently. That means if a professional is going to keep his money in the post office or in bank deposits, whatever, infl whatever the interest he is getting, 5 to 6% gets nullified by the inflation. It's very important that people start investing in some other source by which he is going to get more money, more than the inflation, more than the tax rate of India. Yeah. Now, uh, the next question uh, flowing as the consequence would be, why should a person invest a portion of his saving in stock markets? Because everybody feels it's uh, quite jittery to invest in stock markets. Perfectly said. In fact, uh, most of the people have a misconception that if you put it into stock market, the money will go down. So much volatility. In fact, I am telling you as a joke, if you invest in stock market before investing, you should give a copy of your ECG to stock market to, uh, to broker because in case the market comes down, you may have a heart attack. So you must have a very strong heart before applying in, before buying in the stock market. Hence, if you invest all of our savings in bank FDs, PPF, etc., it will lose its value due to inflation, will not be sufficient for our future investment. So, as Vikasji very clearly said, very beautifully asked the question, we have to save a bit of our money into what is called as stock market because compounding works best when given a lot of time. When I am saying investing a portion of our money in stock market, if you symbolically take that 100 rupees is your total investment, 50% can be in real estate, 10% could be in the bank, 5% invested in gold, 5% goes for insurance, and another 30% can go to stock markets, out of which 15% can be mutual funds, in case you don't have knowledge about stock market and 15% more in stock markets. Now, uh, a lot of people believe that what is the ideal age for investing in stock markets? Very beautifully asked question. In fact, a large number of people, we have done a survey, large number of people think about their retirement corpus only post 50 years. And <clears throat> after 50 years, you don't have time for, you know, compounding benefit. You know, somebody asked, somebody asked Albert Einstein, Einstein, sir, well, there are seven wonders in the world. And he said, there is an eighth wonder. And the eighth wonder, he said, is the compounding, effect of compounding. And Einstein went one step further and very beautifully said, if you do not take the advantage of compounding in your lifetime, you are the most, you are the most unfortunate person. Now, since you asked me, when is the right time to start investing? Let me tell you the story of Amar, Akbar, Anthony, everybody knows, they are all three of them are twins. And then my dear friends, Amar, Akbar, Anthony, let me give an example. Amar, Akbar, Anthony, 25 years old, all of them. Amar, at the age of 25, went on investing rupees 1,000 in stock market. And that gave 15% returns per annum. And from 25 years to retirement, 60 years. At the age of 60, Amar got exactly one crore. And then Akbar suddenly remembered the age of 35. Even I should get one crore. So if he has to get one crore at the age of 60, 
starting at the age of 35, Akbar had to invest rupees 3,400, not 1,000 rupees. Anthony realized at the age of 45 that he too get, should get one crore retirement corpus. Starting at the age of 45, he had to invest somewhere around 16,400. Amar Akbar Anthony had a very old friend, very dull and very unintelligent person. And that old person, you know, Dr. Bharat Chandra, he started investing at the age of 55. Then we have to invest 1,20,000 rupees. Can you see the postponement has costed you 1,000 rupees became 3,400 and 3,400 became 16,400 and it became 1,20,000 rupees. If all of them had started investing from 25, 1,000 rupees would have been more than enough to get one crore. And hence, the most important rule in investing is invest early. In fact, the specialists say, start investing from today. And one of my friends told me, today is too late. You should have started yesterday. That is the importance of investing. And invest regularly. When I'm talking about regularity, suppose an Amar misses one installment of SIP, 1,000 rupees at the age of 25 or 60, one installment of 1,000 rupees he misses, the penalty will, penalty is at the age of uh, um, 60, instead of getting one crore, he will get only 99 lakhs. That is the power of investing regularly and invest for long term, not for short term. Now, Vikas, I want to ask you more questions regarding the, I have talked yeah. about golden. In fact, gold when gold. we were discussing, one of uh, a good friend has already written, why my law college did not teach me how to learn, earn money. They just taught me how to get job. I will just share with him that that is why we had asked Mr. Bharat so that the earlier they will learn, we have to only decide when, what, whether we are Amar, whether we are Akbar or Anthony. And next is uh, the same question arising from there off, uh, which is con uh, hyperlinked with that, the power of lo long-term investing. Yeah. If I tell you the power of long-term investing, many of you will be totally repentant. Why did I not start? In fact, uh, my name is Dr. Bharat Chandra. Let me tell you, I'm the most foolish man in the whole world. My graduation is medical, but I have no idea about the whole finance field. The amount of mistakes I've done in the field of investing, nobody should do. That is why I've been conducting workshops on stock market and wise investment. And whatever mistakes I have committed in my life, I've been correcting with, with in, in the form of guiding my children to amass a good income for the retirement, plus large number of people who are probably my children's age, so, so that they get the benefit. Now, let me tell you the story of long term in, in stock market. Rupees 9,500 invested in Infosys in 1993, today is valued at 13.85 crores. Many of you may be wondering, 1993, I must have spent that 9,500 paying a rent or going on a picnic. And now, if you had kept their stocks, it would have only given you 13.85 crores. Now, look at this, rupees 10,000 invested in Wipro shares in 1980 is today valued at rupees 1,180 crores. You can't believe 1980, you pay 10,000, it is 1,180 crores. Now, let me go further. Huh? And because and everybody will be totally flabbergasted looking at this particular uh, statistics, rupees 10,000 invested as one time investment in January 2000. I repeat, January 2000, you paid only 10,000 rupees, purchase the following shares. Look at this story. In Aishar Motors, one time investment, when I'm saying one time investment, Many people think monthly, monthly, I must have paid for 10,000. No, only once 
January 3rd, 2000, I invested 10,000. Aishar Motors would fetch you 48 lakhs at 34%. Bajaj Finance would fetch you 93 lakhs at 38%. Kotak Mahindra Bank Investment, you pay 10,000, you are going to get 15 lakhs at 27%. Now going, Havels, look at this, 10,000 has given you 84 lakhs at 37%. Madhasam Suni would give you 90 lakhs at 38%. And LNT rupees 10,000 would give you 2 lakhs and at the rate of 15%. I deliberately added LNT because there are stocks which are giving more benefits. There are stocks which are giving moderate benefits and less benefits. But 10,000 becoming 2 lakhs is not too bad in any case. This is the power of long-term investing. Now, uh, like we are also rece uh, receiving messages regarding SIP, etc. Could you also explain the concept of system equity plan, that is SEP? And what is the difference between system equity plan and systematic investment plan? Is there okay. any subtle difference between the two? Yeah, I am just giving you some more data before I go further. SBI gives you 1.44 lakhs. HDFC gives you about 7.82 lakhs. HDFC Bank gives you 7.97 lakhs. And remember, now I'm coming to the concept of systematic equity plan, or also an alternate could be SIP, Systematic Investment Plan. Systematic Equity Plan or SIP, SIP, when you invest in mutual funds on a regular basis, it's called SIP. When you invest the same money in stock market, it is called SEP. Now look at this, rupees 3,000 invested per month as SEP from January 2000 to April 2021. Let me repeat again, rupees 3,000 invested per month as SEP from January 2000 to April 2021, that is 21 years <coughs> and four months. 21 years and four months, you would have invested at the rate of 3,000, 7.68 lakhs. And today's value of Asian pay, if you sell those shares, is 3.07 crores at the rate of 25 0.52%. To give a comparison, I have put one more small table at the bottom. Rupees 3,000 invested per month in bank RD from January 2000 to April 2021. And bank RD, the earlier was giving 8.5, now only around 5.5 to 6.5. And that would have given you 20.81 lakhs. And in case of Asian pays, you are getting 3.07 crores, a sizable portion of money. And then if you deduct out of that 3.07, 7.68, approximately 2.99 crores is a net profit you are going to make from SEP in Asian pay. This is a story of one Asian pig. In fact, if I had plenty of time, I would have made a slide for each one of the more profitable stocks like HDFC, HDFC Bank, Bajaj Finance, Bajaj Financial Services, and Titan, etc., etc. And this is the way professionals can do it. You know, somebody very beautifully said, in fact, Warren Buffett said, if, if you are not going to create a system of making money when you are sleeping, then throughout your lifetime, you need to earn money to keep yourself floating. I don't know how many of you understood what I said. If you do not, you know, if your money is not going to earn more money, I repeat, the money has to earn more money, not you earn money every month. And the professionals can do this, and we have done a very small survey, and later I'm going to share it. We have asked more than one lakh people until today how much money you can uh, you can save in a month 
without getting hurt without feeling bad even if that money suddenly goes or you lose that money you should not feel bad and remember more than 60 70% of the people said even 5000 rupees i can save in a month we are talking to mostly a lot of advocates judges and medical professionals and large other people 5000 rupees is a pittance it is a money you spend probably on a family dinner and then that is why i am telling you please make arrangements to make sure that you get enough wealth for retirement and one beauty about creating a wealth for retirement is once you have somewhere around 2 or 3 crores that money in stock market will give you approximately 30 lakhs a month throughout your lifetime i repeat throughout your lifetime i'm giving an example let us imagine my name is vikas at the age of 55 years i created a corpus of somewhere around 3 crore and after that every month every year you can withdraw 45 lakhs without hurting your principal next year again 3 crore is ready so this is the power of systematic equity plan now uh, lot of people feel that you can invest by a blinder or uh, what we say normal bhed chal without actually going to the fundamentals do you feel that role of fundamentals and technical analysis is a very great way to understand and invest this thing or without understanding the rules you start investing on the asking of someone you have asked a question and uh, let me tell you a, a question which has got weight in its gold is this question see anybody can invest but a person who understands and invest is the one who will be the winner and one more important thing if you if you invest without knowing anything and that is called gambling fundamental analysis is analysis of companies to assess which company to invest in it must be done once in 3 months to check the financial performance of the companies and decide whether to continue investing in that company or not large number of people feel the fundamental analysis and technical analysis is difficult to understand i am a medical graduate i learned it by continuously looking at it it is a matter of few hours of training maybe 5 or 6 hours of training you understand what is profit and loss account what is balance sheet what is cash flow etc everybody should be knowing for example before investing in any plot of land you are first doing a research you go to advocate and ask him the the veracity of the title the similarly before buying any company you must know the fundamental analysis and now i am going to technical analysis technical analysis is done to decide when to buy and when to sell a particular stock it involves observing the price graph of a stock for example fundamental analysis says which stocks to buy and technical analysis says when to buy when to sell and how to buy just to show you i am showing you the graph of a particular company in this case it is a graph of titan company and it is called 30 days moving average graph you can see a red line we can see a green line and red line going up green line going up a blue line going up the red line is called as buy indication and the blue line um, uh, coming and touching from the top is called as sell indication if a professional understand this this is a matter of another 5 or 6 hours to understand very easy to learn i have learned if a dull person an unintelligent person like me can understand you all should be able to understand because you are all advocates of the supreme court high court and then you are the advocates with the greatest intelligence 
and uh, professionals with a tremendous uh, capacity to understand very easy you can see the graph and decide when to buy this is the time to buy this is the time to sell if you do this you will be able to uh, you will be able to amass somewhere around 20 to 30% profit for the money that you have invested in stock market maybe you will invest 10 lakhs for annum you can easily get about 3 lakh rupees And like we understand the fundamentals and technical, before we take things forward, I've just received a message on the group itself. He is regularly following our webinars. Vincent, he says that he met you 20 years ago and he has relived the memories again and it is a pleasure connecting with you. And how much time is required to monitor the stocks? Because sometimes feels one feels that it's a whole time job. You never know that you may miss the bus when, it, when you have to buy, when you have to sell. Or is it that... Simpliciter, you can uh, have to devote full time. Is it a 24 7 job, few minutes job, or how things have to go about? Very, very good question. One, one misconception people have is that it's a full time job. If you are investing for long term, minimum eight years to maybe even 35 years till retirement, then 30 minutes a month is sufficient to manage your investment. Just 30 minutes. And then if you are doing short-term trading, which I don't recommend for all professionals, few days to few weeks, then 20 minutes a day is required. And that is not during the uh, working hours at the middle of the night or whatever time you're comfortable, that 20 minutes can be spent in the name of Dr. Bharat Chandra. Very, very interesting question you asked me. Yeah. Uh, then what is the minimum amount required to invest in stocks? One feels that to buy money, uh, to have money, you have to have more money. Or I was just hearing one of the YouTube uh, uh, blog, uh, this blogger and he was also saying, he said that even 500 rupees is good enough because the effect of compounding is very good. It can always increase better. 500 rupees a month, even 100 rupees also is more than enough. But that is not a sizable income or corpus you get for retirement. To get a seasonably, reasonably good corpus retirement, I advise minimum 5,000 rupees a month for a person of 25 years, person of 35 years, it could be in the range of around 10,000. For a person of 45 years, it could be 20,000 rupees a month so that he can comfortably retire at the end of his tenure, at the age of 60 years, with a corpus of somewhere around two to five crores. Once you have two to five crores retirement, your retirement is done, you are happy, no problem at all. This is exactly what I am trying to achieve in all my workshops, talking to people. Yeah. Now, uh... There are certain misconceptions about short-term trading, though I know that it's a long, it's a good few hours sessions to understand. But could you give a bird eye view regarding what are the misconceptions and how to dispel about the same? Well, very good question. Again, I am no very intelligent person like you will definitely ask this question. Misunderstanding is the percentage returns in short-term trading looks good, but the quantum of money is usually very small. I don't know how many people understand this. You get 5,000, 10,000, 15,000 uh, per, per month or even 1 lakh per month. But that is not as good as 5 crores, 10 crores for retirement. It is not suitable for busy professionals since it requires a lot of time and stress. So very important. And today, I have to tell you one more interesting concept. Probably that is in the mind of my friend Vikasji also. And that is difference between trader and investor. My aim as being Dr. Bharat Chandra is to make people investors, not traders. Trader is a person who earns his money, livelihood from stock market trading. He does frequent transactions to earn regular income. The objective is to earn income rather than create wealth. Now coming to the investor is a person whose primary activity is their profession and business. You're an advocate, you're a doctor, you're a chartered accountant, you are an architect. Continue, I never say you come into stock market full time. 
they invest their savings in stocks to create wealth in the long term and not for regular income. This is a part time activity. I again urge everybody who are listening to this particular webinar today and in the future, become an investor, not a trader. And if you do not create a wealth of not less than two to three or four crores for your retirement planning from today, you are going to repent definitely later. Uh, the broader questions we have taken, a uh, uh, few wrap-up questions which have been posted on the group, uh, we will take. How to manage uh, if invested fund is not performing after seven to 10 years? Already we have spent seven years with that fund. We are left with less years to give time for compounding. What is the way forward? The first question is, why did you invest in a company which is not fundamentally strong? For example, there are 1,900 stocks in National Stock Exchange, but profitable stocks are only 200. Suppose you invest some dum dum engineering, tum tum couriers, bow bow dog biscuit, pom pom automobile, God will save you because you unnecessarily invested in non performing assets. Five to seven years later, your, your portfolio is not working. It is time to sell it and probably, I'm just telling you, please attend a workshop on stock market, understand how to do analysis. Then once in three months, please watch your stocks. If you invest blindly and sleep, nothing will happen. It is as good as buying a plot of land and not going there for seven years. Somebody else would have constructed a house there, correct? Similarly, you must look at the look at your stocks once in three months. If you don't do it, you are not an investor. So, next question would be: uh, If we decided to uh, have a SIP or rupees ten thousand in ELSS for thirty-five years, do we need to verify the fund every three months? If fund is not performing, what is the alternative? I am just twenty-six years old. This is by Shrivastava. Very important, very good question. You have to watch all your mutual funds minimum six months or once in a one year. In the case of a mutual fund, the mutual fund gives you return. You have to check the returns with the benchmark index, benchmark landmark, and check whether your mutual fund is performing or not. Not performing, you have to simply get rid of that, come to stocks, um, come to another mutual fund. But having attended this program today, I'm urging all my youngsters here that instead of spending too much time on mutual funds, if you can spend more time with the stocks, same amount of time with the stocks, you are going to get 3x benefits, not 1x. Uh, Akshay, what is your thought on investing more for short term, that is one year, along with long term in this pandemic time? So somebody is asking this question, yeah. one year, how about long term? Yeah, especially keeping in view the pandemic times. See, there is no pandemic, nothing. Question is, if the market is coming down, if I'm a long term investor, it is a discount sale for me. Now the market is coming down. Can you see the smile on my face? I have somewhere around two, three crores of uh, investment portfolio in our house. But we are very happy because I can buy some good stocks at a better rate now. Market goes up, short-term investments I'm selling. See, market goes up and up or down. It doesn't make any difference for a seasoned investor. One-year term is too less. Anybody is thinking of one year in stock market is as good as looking at buying a plot, selling after one year. Buying a plot and selling after one year, probably the registration cost would not have been gotten back. Sajan Pai, any good suggestions for investment in mutual funds or what is to be checked on it? Sachin Pai is asking a question. Yeah. He is asking a question as good as, uh, can you tell me about Ramayan in the next one minute? I can only tell Rama was born in Ayodhya. 
and then he went to forest he got married to uh, sita sita was taken by ravan ravan was killed and he came back to him so his question is the the concept which we explain in 30 to 60 hours workshop yeah so next is by mr kl singla he says what are the fundamentals to select prospective stocks for long term investment oh again the same question there are 17 points to see in fundamental analysis first one is what is the past return second one is very important the the uh, the profit and loss account balance sheet there are 17 such things in so i think i think the the, uh, the way they have taken up we will have to have a, se a separate session on these se 17 fundamentals yeah, to have a bird eye view that will make Correct. a better sense Correct. and last question we will take upon he says how to open the dmat account and what is the benefit of the same uh, again if i ask about benefit i'm gone because it's a big story let me tell you how to open wherever you are whichever place you are go for a walking there will be a board which says angel broking zero da broking then share khan etc etc go there and give your details within the next 7 or 8 days your dmat account will be ready there is no question of asking what is the benefit of dmat account because without the dmat account you cannot buy any stock that is for sure and then it is as good as asking what is the benefit of taking a pan card without pan card how can you open the bank account how can you pay the income tax how can you identify yourself to the government of india and uh, dmat account is similarly a, a, a process by which you keep the shares in safe custody with a government company yeah so uh, i can understand that we had a bird eye view but as they say if you have the bird eye view then you will always like that if the bird could be in the hand and you are made as i say you we have seen the cake we have seen the cherry but that can only be eaten if we have a better session on uh different perspectives a broader perspectives today we can say that it was trailer as they say ye to trailer hai mere dost picture to abhi baki hai so we can have separate sessions for fundamentals etc so that people can understand so thank you to mr bharat uh, dr bharat chandra who has given us a good peep in into as to what could be the way forward i think lot of minds would have got uh, a good knocking and the engine for investments would be much much better than what they thought and before we thank yeah dr chandra finally Chan. i have to say one sentence we keep asking people uh, what were you were you are you interested in uh, starting to invest from from the beginning or somebody will we ask were you thinking of investing everybody says sir i have been thinking of investing in stock market for the last 10 years but oh mahurat abhi tak nahi aaya hai so you have to create a mahurat start investing later you will repent why i did not start like the way i am feeling at this age and i'm correcting it with the help of talking to youngsters so that they will start at the earliest possible time and no excuses start your investment the earliest possible time uh thank you and thank you to mr rohan also who has been able to connect us and uh somebody has asked do you have some workshops on this also and how to join that the best technique is he must get into our youtube every day we are making two videos in english two videos in kannada on on our website on our uh, youtube channel this is the youtube channel we are going to give you the details about the youtube channel english channel is dr bharat chandra and rohan chandra kannada channel is dr bharat chandra institute facebook is there website is there so if you go through that and then if you ask us the same question more details will be coming through youtube channel only yeah we will ask uh... after you uh, we do away with the slide i will ask the rohan also to log in so that they also should know that uh, just like a compounding effect why dr bharat chandra and rohan are doing well they say ek se bhale do and yeah ek se bhale do and uh, ek aur ek gyara so i would like to thank dr uh, mr rohan also to log in and 
we would like to thank him and we will connect soon rohan is coming very shortly for a second yeah yeah